People often want to know how a free-to-play player could progress beyond Keep 35. The question is a very legitimate and understandable one. The main building requirement to progress from Keep 35 to Keep 36 is the Victory Column, which not only has a steep resource cost, but also requires two generals to be 5.8 million power or higher at the same time. To be blunt, this is an unfair requirement that essentially restricts free-to-play players from progressing in the game. The requirement could have been, for example, two generals at 5.6 million. But Evany developers wanted it just a little bit higher so that players feel forced to purchase Civilization gear. It's a difficult hurdle to overcome as free-to-play. It's become a bit easier, and I'll discuss this, but it's still not easy enough. Is it possible? Yes, but boy is it a tough road. Let's talk about how it's possible so you can plan ahead. Here's the bit of tough news for you. A general with maxed out specialties, near perfect refines on Ares and Achaemenidae gear, and with a great dragon, will still fall short of this requirement by approximately 100 to 200,000 power. With the gear, dragons, and limitations of a standard Keep 35, it is unrealistic and likely impossible to actually meet this requirement. To unlock that victory column, we are going to have to look beyond the Keep 35 mindset and dig a bit for that extra power. The first and most impactful source of general power is through equipment. If you've somehow acquired a piece or two of civilization gear, know that the power produced by a fully starred and refined civ piece is roughly double that of Ares or Achaemenidae. Even a completely unrefined piece of civilization gear will provide more power than a fully decked out Ares or Achaemenidae. It's an absolutely and utterly manipulative tactic to push players into purchasing, but there it is. Any pieces you have should be distributed across the two generals to bring them above the 5.8 million requirement. The more pieces you have, the easier this gets. Now, if you don't have a lot of civilization pieces to spread across these generals, you'll struggle a bit more. Here are a few things to help you out. One, a big source of general power is from general specialties. Pick long-term generals and designate those as the ones you will push to 5.8 million. My two designated generals back when I made the push were Minamoto and Dewey. One was my long-term PvP archer general, while the other was my wall general. I strongly suggest making your wall general one of the two picks as it is much easier to refine wall general equipment as opposed to more focused generals. For example, with Dewey's gear, I would pick any great refine while Minamoto had to be specifically benefiting archers. After choosing my generals, I boosted their specialties as far as my runestones could take me. 2. Another huge source of power is through equipped dragons. The higher quality the dragon is, the more power it will provide. For example, a Nidhogg dragon will have higher power than a Fafnir. There also seems to be a bit of variation as to how much power a dragon gives each general, which might have to do with the power values associated to general types. What I mean here is that a dragon suitable for archers seems to provide more power to an archer general than it does to a ground general. I'm not 100% sure about all this, but it seems to be the case. Try it out and see whether that's the case for you. As a side note, Spirit Beasts do boost power as well, but not quite as much as a dragon, so stick to dragons if possible. Dragon levels have also recently increased to a cap of level 15, which makes it a bit easier to get that last needed power. 3. Generals get about 40,000 power per general level. The level of a general is capped by your monarch level and not your keep level. Therefore, it is possible to be Monarch 40 while still Keep 35, though that would be a super rare occurrence. 
it's much more likely that free-to-play players will be Monarch 37 or 38 on average around the time they unlock Keep 36. If you're right on the cusp of surpassing that requirement, all you might need is another Monarch level to get there. 4. Ascension may provide a bit of extra general power if you are able to ascend one or two of the generals. Keep in mind that ascension is costly, so make sure you do it to the right generals. Hopefully these tips will help you get over the major hurdle so that you'll be able to continue your keep growth. If you're below keep 35, you definitely want to start this process as soon as possible. This will speed up your ability to get it done when you eventually make it to keep 35. I recommend starting to get serious about boosting your two dedicated generals as soon as your forge is high enough to craft the Ares and Achaemenidae gear that you will need. It's a long and tedious process, so don't expect to get it done overnight. Even for players that had been keep 35 for a few years, it was still a great challenge to overcome. Best of luck to you. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the Miser's Guide to Ebony. I'll see you in the next video.